Hey guys, what's up? Felipe Razuka here again. Now I'm going to speak in English with you guys. A lot of people know English, and if you don't know English, I'm going to put some subtitles on this video. I have a special guest today, almost not today, not tonight yet, but we're going to be talking about uh, traveling. This is Dave. Dave, if you want to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Dave. <laughs> So David's taking Portuguese classes as well, and uh, he watched the videos online. He's been learning a lot of Portuguese, but we decided to, to record this video in Portuguese and in, in English. Sorry, talking about the fears, things that hold people of traveling, right? I mean, a lot of people exactly. have a, have a lot of fears right, about traveling. A lot of excuses as well. All the time, man, All and it's excuses. it's impressive because when it, we're backpackers. He's been backpacking in Brazil, right? Bra yeah. And other places as well? Just All Brazil? South America, yeah. Pretty South much. America as well. Uh, uh, Peru, Bolivia. Ecuador, Colombia. Perfect, like me. I, I did the same thing. Uh, you spent how long traveling? <laughs> almost, it's been almost two years now. Two years? Almost Shit. two years. <laughs> Can you believe that sometimes you, you tell to people you've been, I don't know, like traveling for six months and people like crazy because six months? I mean, what the fuck, man? What about money? What about your family? What about. You know, you know. I only planned. I really had only saved money, thinking three or four months of travel, and, and then I you turned go. it into yeah, and I turned it into two years. <laughs> you can be addicted to that. I, what, I met a guy in Buenos Aires. He was traveling for nine years. <laughs> he was like 45 years old, and I was like, shit, man, nine years. We need to learn some things from him, though. Yeah, <laughs> I think he's got some things he can tell us. We'll the see. thing is, guys, sometimes if you don't know something. You won't know if you will like it or not. Sometimes people say like it's not for me. Mm -hmm. Like I, it's, I don't, I don't like to go like uh, traveling, not know anyone. But once you do it, and you can get to know people, places, and get to know yourself as well, it's really nice. Yeah, you can get a lot of advantage, advantage yeah. of that, right? So we're gonna get straight to the point. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We have like what? Like get straight to the point. Yeah, eight points here, eight on the list. There are fears, what makes people, like, hold people, right? So they hold decide. people back from, from traveling. From or traveling. the first step, exactly, I guess. Yeah, is, is it's, a, it's a lot of excuses, actually. In reality, there are, we came up with more of these, but we picked the, the first eight to focus on for the video, and the rest we figured uh, people will come up with more excuses, exactly. and we, we, we... Questions, are, yeah, like just... Answers, fears, yeah. doubts, and we can, we can respond to those. Yeah, because there are so many different situations, no? Me, myself, I mean, my family, I mean, I have my parents, my uh, siblings, 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 right? siblings, siblings as well, and uh, they're all in Brazil. So I, I feel really good to travel because they're they're all there with my family. Some people, they uh, they are one only child, only kid, like a an only child, uh, only, an child. only child. So I, I'm not I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna leave my parents because they're gonna be by themselves, you know. But in my case, I can be, I, be, I can be saying like, I'm gonna go. It's like, it would be easier for me. So each case is one case. I mean, everybody has a, a different story. Right. So we're gonna talk about this right now. And uh, you guys will decide if you make those excuses or not. And if you're making those excuses, we're gonna come with the solution, right? So the first and most common, you guys should imagine it's like money. Yeah, and I don't have money to do that. When you tell people you're traveling for two, three, four months, they're like, oh my gosh, but I don't have money to do that. Yeah. So what do you think about that? Well, what do you think is the problem, the solution, and the benefits? Yeah, all right, so the, the first thing is, okay, maybe you need a little bit of money to start. You're not yeah, going, of course. if you're in debt, Probably <laughs> you can run not, away. <laughs> you can run away of the country. <laughs> but it's gonna run away. Of I have so many much money, money to pay. Debt, just go. Just travel. <laughs> no, if you're if you're in debt, I would say the the very first thing I would do before you start planning to travel. Keep in mind that you're going to travel. Work on paying down those debts. So it's not before you come to saving money to travel. Start saving money to pay down those debts. The less debt you have, if you get down to zero. Uh, you can start Perfect. saving money. The more money you have to go to, to start traveling, the more money you have that it'll last you longer. But um, another one of the things that uh, people, well, another benefit, I guess, of not having money or learning to before you even go travel 
is that um, you go, oh, I got to save money, I got to save money. Well, that really starts before you go traveling. So All you right. start cutting costs and stuff. Yeah. You go, maybe I'm not going to go out to sushi uh, every week now or of something course. like that. I'm not going to go out to the movies and this. I'm not going to go to... Oh, buying you know, just material things that, I don't know, like a, a more expensive shoes, car, shoes, shoes yeah. yeah. Oh, this is so nice, shoes, man. I'm going to buy this one. What's wrong with the ones you have already? Yeah, right? it's, it's too old. It's been like a year I've been using this. So they just, uh, I mean, it's so common, you know, to, yeah. to, catch, to catch yourself like spend a lot of money with yeah. bullshit. Especially buying things, the, the things, it's nice to have. I mean, I like things, everybody likes things, but another thing about buying things is that it becomes, it turns into another excuse later. Oh, what about my things? I can't leave and go travel. Oh, I have of these course. shoes to take care yeah, of. Who's I, I wear these shoes when I'm not here? Everything, like uh, what I'm gonna do with all of this? Uh -huh. What about my bike? What about my car? What about my apartment? Yeah. I mean, I, all, all of those things you can sell, right? Uh -huh. I mean, People say it's like really expensive to travel. You can beat someone who travel, ex spend a lot of money. You can do that. You know, you can go like uh, to a lot of places. If you, if you have a lot of money, you can go traveling, spend a lot of money. When I was backpacking, I had the money, but I was saving a lot to the last dime. You know, I was really like uh, saving a lot of money, man. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would hitchhike with money in my pocket. Uh -huh. There was once in Ecuador and the, the not uh, frontera, the border. The border, man. <laughs> the border. I was hitchhiking at 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. I had money, but I didn't want to pay. I want to go hitchhiking. I'm not gonna pay a taxi. They would. They were like charging like four bucks. And you know, in Ecuador, you pay like a dollar for an hour mm -hmm. on a bus. You know, like a dollar, nothing more. Yeah. And the, it would. It was like I don't know, like five minutes away. And it was really late at night. You know, so the people told me, oh, don't go there, it's really dangerous, you have to wait, blah, blah, blah. So I was willing to wait the whole night to the mm -hmm. next day and go walking. Yeah. And someone came to me and helped me. They paid to me, like, here. The, the guy was, like, negotiating, man, with, uh, with another, uh, the, a cab, cab driver, right? Mm -hmm. A taxi driver. Yeah. And I was like, shit, man. <laughs> what is that? I wanted this, you know? I, I don't want to go, like, easy. Just, okay, I will just pay. Yeah. When you do something like that, when you go like hard, you, you experience so different things, you know? And right now I'm telling this to you guys. It's, it's a, an experience really nice, at least for me. If I had paid, okay, I paid. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be telling you, oh, I paid a taxi to cross the border. Uh, what? I mean, what else? Yeah. You know, but when I say I was hitchhiking, someone approached and they say, hey, where are you going? I wanna, I'm, I'm gonna help you. And I was like, what? And they're okay, what? Yeah. <laughs> the so, good thing about uh, traveling with less money, things like that, is you get you get that up. I mean, that that story you know that you had is like like you said, you could have paid the four bucks and taken a taxi and yeah, got there. It would be to easier. The destination. Okay, that's fine too. But more than likely, you you enriched yourself with experience. You probably met somebody new. You know, had some conversation. Maybe if you're learning the language, if you're learning Spanish at the time, you probably could have practiced a little Spanish or somebody could have practiced some English with you, your give and take uh, thing. And um, you learn to get creative. You learn to open your mind, expand in different directions by going, okay, I have the money here, but pretend like you don't have it. I pretend, what that's it, I don't have it. I'm gonna... Think of it as you don't have yeah. it, you know, it's there yeah. for emergencies, kind of like when you stick a 50 year shoe. <laughs> like you're okay. Like we <laughs> it's my about 50, the other day, it's, like, it's there, but, <laughs> but let's get creative with different ways we can we can, we can can solve this. Hitchhiking is one of them. but. Um, I mean, that, that, that mentality you use in all of your traveling, you know, any kind of way you can save money. Because when you think about a $4, back home in, in the States where I live, $4, $4, that's not even a lunch, man. That's not even yeah, a meal. Not in Ecuador, I can eat beautifully for, yeah, I, I can eat two, maybe two, three two times, times. Yeah, on yeah. that four bucks, you know, it's, and, it's good, <laughs> healthy food, you know, fresh food and that kind of stuff. So we stop thinking of things as, that's $4, you know, back at home, you know, we can easily spend $4 here yeah. and there or something. And $4 is like a tip. On a, on, a, on a lunch or something like that, it's you nothing. lunch. But when you go traveling, that four dollars, four dollars, that stacks up, and that can, you know, if you think like it, bigger and bigger, and that's oh my gosh, man, spending whole money here. Yeah, <laughs> but that four dollars is, is just one example. I mean, that goes a long way of traveling. Oh, know, of course, we well, feel saving, we feel saving. All right. Yeah. So if you start thinking and, and saving, saving the money before, and thinking about that before when you're going traveling, you same kind of thing. Like, okay, you got the money here, but yeah. You can spend it all in a couple of days, or you can spend this over a couple of months. Like, of course, most people want that travel to go longer. You know, longer, so, so they they will like uh, save a lot of money. Yeah. You know? So, talking about money, talking about it's really expensive to travel. What what do you think is the most important thing to take to to know about 
not a lot of, not spending a lot of money when you travel what are the options i mean one one way is saving you were saying like, uh, you can save money you can uh, um, i don't know don't don't drink like three beers just drink one beer and get this money it's like little by little you get there yeah. and another thing is like when you have your money and you arrive at the country uh -huh. so what are you going to do with the money how are you going to spend oh, what 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 ways I have to don't spend so fast this money? Yeah, man, we can go through a whole video of, of money saving tips. Oh, yeah, stuff. yeah. I think, we'll, I think we'll, have to, we'll have to save for another video or another list. But some of the, the main one, is, like so maybe come at, surfing. At restaurants. Okay, stop, okay no stop, restaurants. Stop. And especially, for example, here in South America, don't eat at McDonald's, uh, Subways, these and that. They're, first of all, you can find it back home, but they're expensive. They're yeah. expensive here, Comparing right? with the food that Comparing we have here, yeah. Comparing with the food, and they're not going to be as fresh, even though you think of Subway, it's the fresh, healthy food. No, you're going to find much healthier, fresher food for much cheaper. So don't go to the restaurants. Don't go to the big chains and stuff. If you go to the more typical hole-in-the-wall place, you're going to eat beautiful meals for, for cheap. So I would say, well, what are the things that we spend the most money on that we can save? Food, Flat meals, food, hotels, transport, transport. Yeah. That's it, that's those three things. things. So, um, lodging, for example, we don't need to stay in hotels. That's the quick, quickest, easiest way to burn through our money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can spend 50 bucks a night on, on, a, on a hotel. Easy, and you, easy. you don't know anyone because people who go to a hotel, they're not willing, they're not too open to meet people. They right. want to, it's like more private, you know? Like, yeah. you just go, I'm going to a hotel, I'm just going to be here. It's like my space. If you, if you go to a hostel, it's to totally different. Mm -hmm. Actually, you can have a problem. You know, when you go to a hostel, because when you're traveling too much, people always people will think that you want to talk all the time. You know, they want, they're gonna ask like, uh, where are you coming from? Where are you come from? What, what do you do? Blah blah blah, a lot of things. And sometimes you'll be you'll be on the road like for I don't know, like six months, eight months, a year, and you're tired of this. And sometimes you just want to relax. You know, and someone will come to you asking the same shit. I'm like, fuck, man, I'm just gonna go to a hotel. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to a hotel. So yeah. you can have this up some, some time, but at first it's it's really nice. It's really nice. So we we could go to the second to the second one. Sure. Because as you said, it's like talking about money and traveling, it's like a, a never ending. Yeah. What what I could do is we could talk like the the, the first uh, just a little of each topic uh -huh. and then on, on the blog you guys can see details on each point. Yeah. Because we can put like links, website that we recommend, another videos. Of people who is talking about that as well, mm -hmm. so it's like more, it's more concise. Because yeah. it was like um, I don't know, we are 13, I don't know, like 25 to so half an hour. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. So second one, what? I'm a girl. <laughs> I'm a girl. <laughs> I'm a girl. I can't do that. It's too dangerous. Yeah, traveling is dangerous for girls. It's. it's but you can get I'm... robbed on your inner city. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. You can, but I. What's another? Very big excuse that people, girls that don't travel, they say, ah, oh, yeah, it's not, it's easy for you guys to travel. You're, yeah. you're, you're you can men, go you know, anywhere. People, nobody's gonna rob you. Nobody's gonna, gonna get to rip, uh, rip, no, rape, rape, no, rape you. Rape you. Gonna rape you or something <laughs> like that. So it, it, it's a, it's a legitimate concern. It's a, it's a common one, but it's a, it's a legitimate one. And, and of course, we're not, we're not female, so we can't answer those um, directly from experience. But we can say. Both in both of our experiences, I've met so many girls who are traveling by themselves. Impressive. And people think uh, almost no girls travel by themselves. I, I wouldn't say it's maybe it's not half and half. I would say thirty to forty percent. Yeah, yeah, it's less. Three, that's, that's three for sure. or four out of girls are traveling alone. You know, for every six guys that are traveling by themselves, there's three or four girls that are traveling by themselves. So, so it's it's not like if you are a girl and you go traveling, you're going to be the only one by yourself. Can you believe we're no, not recording on this? No, we are. No audio? <laughs> no, but it's okay. We're, we're speaking here. <laughs> okay. Okay, no problem. No problem. Um, <laughs> so, we could probably leave, leave this to a girl to explain more, but at least from our experience, we can say that we've met so many girls who are traveling um, by themselves and don't have any negative experiences. Like, they don't get treated differently, you know? So, a lot of people are also surprised to see girls, oh, you're a girl traveling by yourself, you know? It's a huge uh, advantage as well because people admire you. Like, oh my gosh, you're doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you had an experience you were telling me the other day about a, about the a girl that was. Girl. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sabrina is her name. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to her to put some pictures of her. Uh -huh. You know, so there is a website called Couchsurfing. We're gonna talk about this later. Actually, we could, we could do, don't know, we have the three one. Okay, well, we can talk later about Couchsurfing. Yeah. Okay, so this girl sent, sent, sent a message to me 
and she stayed at my place like a week and she was traveling uh, with her bicycle from Venezuela to Colombia you know and, and she was backpacking in Brazil she started to backpack in Brazil and then the whole way she went to the Amazon she mm -hmm. took the boat so she, she went to the she, she arrived in, in, in Venezuela and then from there she got a bike and from there she was cycling the whole way to Colombia and she arrived in Medellin. It's admirable. Oh my gosh, man, it was like, it, she's cute, man. I was like, my gosh, man, are you doing this like on a bicycle by yourself? And everybody, so many people have has a lot of excuse, you know? She was doing this really like as a backpacker, like mm -hmm. a real backpacker, you know, like not spending money, sleeping at gas stations and the fire, firefighters, she, she would just go there, hey, can I sleep here? She was like, going really wild, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I was like, some people has the money, mm -hmm. but they still, they're afraid of doing this. Mm -hmm. Even if you say, you can pay hostels every day, no problem. Mm -hmm. No, but I'm, I don't know, like, uh, I'm, I don't feel comfortable with that. So there is no ex excuse, guys. You, guys, you can, if you're a girl, if you're a guy, whatever, old people with, uh, with um, uh, kids mm -hmm. as well. I, I, I've seen that, like babies. Mm -hmm. Some people's like, no, not a, now that I have a baby, I can't travel. But that's that's a lie. It's a little bit difficult, but yeah, you can do it. More of a challenge, but definitely yeah. you can do it. I've been in a hostel many times where the families, you know, a couple, or I've seen even where it's one parent and two kids, two little kids that are going traveling. In, in, and I mean, that, they do it. They, that should impact a lot, right? The life of the kids, like traveling. Like I think so. I, young. I think it's probably the best thing you can give to a kid. You know, you can give a kid money. You can buy him this. You can buy him. Um, a new car, you know, you can pay for their college tuition, that kind of stuff. But in my personal opinion, what, what can be better than giving them the gift of travel, experience of knowing other people, knowing other yeah. things? Um, especially when they're young, man, they're picking up languages so quick. Yeah. You take them to different they want to countries, they want you're to learn everything. Of everything. And they're like sponges, man. They're just learning <laughs> words here and there. And I mean, it's, it's like that's the beginning of starting new friendships and stuff. A couple of words, conversations, you know, you exchange language, you speak to somebody in, in their language. and. It's nice. It's something it's really that will last nice. an entire life, you know. It's it's. So sometimes you meet some. I mean, it's not that that common to meet like like a young people who's been traveling like five countries. Uh -huh. I'm like 11 years old. We've lived in five countries. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Five countries. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because my parents travel a lot, so they just take me. Uh huh. I mean, you have some disadvantage. That, Disadvantages. Yeah, some because you can't create some roots. But you can't, as the phrase we saw uh, yesterday, like uh, some people, they don't take decisions because they don't know, they don't take, uh, they don't think about what they have to gain, but what they have to lose. Right. You know, what they, I'm, I'm going to lose this, but I'm not thinking about what, I, what I'm going to get. We have a good quote. We, sh we should share that quote. Yeah, yeah. we're going to put some quotes about that, about changing, about taking decisions. Really yeah. Nice. I'm going to put it on the, on the blog. Let's skip to the, th to the third, mm -hmm. right? So uh, we have a family, friends, attachment, job. Okay, some people are really attached to the family. When you can say attached, right? Attached. Yeah. Attached. Yeah. yeah. So they say, oh, I really love my family. I don't want to to leave them and blah blah blah. And sometimes you have your parents that won't let you go. Mm -hmm. so they say like, don't go there. You're gonna you're not gonna leave me here. Mm -hmm. So you feel like guilty. Like, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna leave you. And plus, job. I don't know why white people com commit so much about a job because it's just a job. You know, yeah. you can get anywhere. I mean, you can be replaced like a, like that. Right. So you leave, someone like two days uh, uh, after, someone will arrive. Yeah. So you think you're unique at the company, but not really, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you really love your job and you're really attached to it, I can see where it can be there, where it, you're, you're as tight with your job as you are with your friends and your family, but they're all tied together they're all and in my opinion they're all things that people say I, I can't leave I got my job I got my responsibility oh, yeah, I can't, Who, I can't. who's gonna who's gonna who's gonna who's gonna do my job when I'm gone you know or who's going to be with my friends when I'm gone I'm gonna miss out on this or family whatever so they're all legitimate things I understand them but it also in, in in response to that I think those things are always going to be there yeah, and this course. is one of the things Anytime that everyone wants you can get back to a job if you, you always go a job, there. you can get another job yeah because maybe your job doesn't exist anymore because we have like extinctions of jobs uh -huh. people don't do this anymore right but anyway you can get a job you can do whatever you want but time changes you know you're like a, I mean, right now I'm doing this like next year I'm giving Portuguese classes but I don't know next year in two years in four years what I'm gonna do maybe I can change I can do something else right all right so that's the thing 
It was one of the important things actually that somebody said to me that, that like made everything click. Like I knew I wanted to travel and that was one of the last things I had kind of checked off a bunch of things. I was like, I can leave because of this and that, but it's like, yeah, friends and family and job, these are all important things to me that was like, okay, I, I had already mentally prepared myself. I can get rid of my, my stuff, I'll, I can come back. But it was like my friends, my family, my job and stuff. And it was somebody that uh, I had worked with who actually had said this to me and is like, for some reason, I, I knew it, but it wasn't until somebody like looked me in the eye and told it to me that I was like, just I just a little bit, a I push. Just, just pushed me. Yeah, it was like yeah, one yeah. of those things. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Break uh, the last straw is the proper word, but it was like somebody that she looked at me in the eye and was like, you 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 realize like yes, your friends, your family, your job, all stuff is good. You like all that, but they're gonna be here when you come back. You, you like, go travel, oh, really? go see the world, and it was kind of one of those things. I, I just laughed because I was like. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're right. I know that. I knew that, but <laughs> I needed somebody else to Maybe, tell me. That. So, yeah, sometimes I'm you going. know, you know, but you don't want to know, or you pretend you don't know. It, so if someone come to you and say the same shit that you already know, I know, say shit, man. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I should go and do that, you know. And so it's like this. I mean, Dave told, just told something, just said something really interesting. Like uh, the friends, they, they say like I can't, mm -hmm. but a lot of times you can, but you don't. I mean, I can't do that, but I don't want to. You can do it, but you, yeah, you I mean, don't want I, to. When you say I can't, it's because you can't, man. I mean, it's impossible. I can't do that. There's I always mean, a way. Yeah. You can always, you can, you can always do it, especially if you're your friends and family. If they're your real friends and family. They'll, they'll get by when you're gone. You know, especially now, <coughs> we got Skype, oh, we got yeah, Google man. Hangouts, we got WhatsApp. Everything is like, yeah, totally. You text messages, videos. Things, WhatsApp, conferences like you can all share. day, every day. But like, there's another problem. Sometimes you travel and you live more at the place you left than the place you were. Because you are talking more with people who, who the place, the place yeah. of your, your home city, your hometown. You're all the time talking with your friends back in your city. And yeah. Like, Shit, man. I mean, you're traveling. I mean, just leave it there. And yeah. then if you want, you want to go back, you go back. You know, mm -hmm. but don't be so attached. You have to, to let it go. It's just um, just leave, just leave. Go there. They're still your friends. They're still your family. Yeah, yeah. When if it's friends, if it's real friends, if it's real friends, when you go back, they're gonna be there. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be your friends. They're gonna be. They're not gonna say, "Oh my gosh, you abandoned me. Yeah. I don't want to talk to you anymore." They will say, "Fuck, man, that's so nice that you came back." Mm -hmm. You know, they're really really happy about that. As I've never I've never lost a friend from traveling. I don't no. know if you've ever lost a friend. No. It's like, hey man, if you leave here, friend, you not your friend anymore. Which yeah. I think actually brings us to another point we have on here. Is about the four? Oh yeah, I don't have a friend. People are afraid to travel because they say, "Oh, my friends are here in the city that I live yeah. in and work in and that I grew up in. I don't have any friends there in whatever country they're going to go visit." I'm not, I'm not because I think the problem is they think people who, who didn't travel yet mm -hmm. they think that the same situation that happens when you are in another country is the same as in your country. I mean, being here, we are not from here. We are in mm -hmm. Colombia right now. We are at a bar. A bar, coffee, coffee, coffee place, you know, <laughs> like a bar, 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 but a coffee place. We are here. The experience of being here, it's not going to be, it's not going to be the same as a Colombia being here, right? Because you are at home. Mm -hmm. We are not at home, right? We are in a bar, you know, in another another country. You know? mm -hmm. so it's different for us. Mm -hmm. So we are more open to talk to people. People were more open to talk to us because we're not from here. Mm -hmm. So they say, "Hey, you're not from here. Where are you from?" Blah blah blah. blah. So do you like Colombia? Do you like Medellin? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. No? So, so you're like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." So people are really welcoming people, you know. Yeah. So yeah, of course. When, when you go to a, to a Brazil, to the U.S. as well, when you realize someone is not from there, I mean, usually people talk to you. Right. So you can make friends easier in another country than in your country. We might be social people, but there's other people. You don't even have to be a social person. Make, make the first move. You go into a place, and just get hostels by, or anywhere. By yourself. You go to a language exchange. <laughs> any of these things. I mean, you can no. go there and uh, strike up a conversation. It's like you can try to make that. You should make that first step. But if you don't, somebody else is more we're likely. Like, yeah. Hey, like where us. are you from? Well, we're like really just, social people. If I see someone who's just you know like standing still. Just watching, you know, really shy. I would just go there. Hey, man, what's up? Hey, how are you? You uh, drink coffee? Like, you mind if I join you? Uh, oh yeah, of course. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. no, no, I don't want you. Yeah, I don't want you here. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't ever happen. Doesn't happen. No, but usually it's like good experience. It's really nice. Good experience. You make those friends, and in, in traveling alone, you meet so many people that are traveling alone by themselves as well. The majority, if, the majority of people, I think that are traveling or backpacking, you know, staying in hostels and stuff. I, Honestly, the mo the majority of them are traveling by themselves. So it's like, oh yeah, instantly by going there, you just 
opened up your network of friends you could Every, have. Everybody's you know? experienced the same thing, right? Everybody's right. like by, by themselves. Same thing. So they they, they want to make new friends. They don't. I mean, yeah. they're out of their country. They're out of their thing, and more yeah. likely, it's not their language. Empathy. Empathy. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that, like, that's what. what is and all you have all. something in common. It's like, hey, man, I didn't know you. You speak a different language. You're from yeah. another country. Oh, you decided to come here as well. So did oh, I. Me too, man. That's did we here. just become best friends? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have so much in common. Exactly. <laughs> but, but really, I mean, you, it is like that's that, how you make your friends. Yeah. So four. The 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 four on the list is like I don't have a friend, but you can make a lot of friends really easily, and you have you have a, a lot of benefits on this. You have like different experiences, people with different different thoughts. Yeah. You know, as well, so it's really nice because you can. You can see outside, you know, like you're like so used with your friends that the same idea, the same circle. Mm -hmm. When you go to another side and you meet someone who has like different ideas, you're like, ah, you know, like I've never thought about that. Mm -hmm. So it, it's cool, you know, mm -hmm. because when you're like mixing like ideas and then you can grow as a person as well. Yeah. You know, we have the five. Oh, well, this is, I don't, I don't know anyone. Okay. That's a, that's the same. All right. Six. I don't know. The language. Yeah. I, how am I going to go to Brazil if I don't know Portuguese? Or to the US if I don't know English? Actually, I get so impressed when I see like Americans here. They don't know anything of Spanish. Or go to Japan mm -hmm. and I don't know Japanese. I would just go there. I mean, shit, man. I mean, it's scary at first, you know? Mm -hmm. But once you get there, you start to talk to people and then you start... People want to help you. Right. They want to serve, they want to help you. So it doesn't matter if you don't know the language. If you have, I always say, if you have a big smile, you're good. Yeah. You know, just arrive in any place with a big smile, people will treat you really nice. Open mind. Yeah. Open so, mind. You got smiles. It doesn't yeah. matter. It's like and, the language thing becomes less and less important. And don't know? complain, for God's sake. Don't yeah. be complaining all, all the time. People <laughs> tend to complain more in their house. <laughs> easiest Man. way to easiest way to make friends smile. Easiest way to lose friends complain. Oh yeah. And actually. <laughs> I, I read once that the easiest way to start a conversation is complaining about something. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true, man. I mean, if I, if I find you on the street and say, hey, man, it's a beautiful day, right? And you're like, what a crap. I mean, that's so real, man. Why are you, why are you telling me this? <laughs> and you would say, oh my gosh, it's fucking weather, man. It's, this weather is killing me. But yeah, man, totally. Okay, let's talk. Let's grab something. I mean, you're already on the line as well? I mean, my gosh, man, an hour here waiting. And, and it's true, I think, but you gotta be really, you gotta, you know, like, uh, balance. Mm -hmm. You know, don't go to a place, oh my gosh, they don't have this, they don't have that, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> just, you can use the, the, the com complaint about something, just, just a little bit, just the tip of it. You know, you can say, oh my gosh, I don't know, something, some, some silly stuff. <laughs> don't go too deep on this, and yeah. then you can start a conversation. <laughs> yeah. But if, uh, but probably you're gonna, have to, you're gonna have to spin that in a positive light. Or of course. I don't know if I want to talk to somebody who's going to who's going to come up with a really heavy attitude about something. Oh yeah, yeah. Go, hey, let's talk to this guy instead. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I, if I, yeah, yeah, if I say like, uh, oh my gosh, I'm so angry with this weather, you know? Yeah. And people are like, oh my gosh. But I say, dude, this weather is killing me, right? And there you go. go. There yeah. you go. And the, the 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 way you speak, you know, the way you speak, people are like, oh yeah, you know, it's like this. Yeah. And we have seven. Comfort, quality of life. I mean, my, back in my uh, my city in Brazil, I lived with my parents, and uh, I have my uh, I had my room. You know, I, I had a, a motorcycle as well. I could drive a car as well. So it, it was so easy. Like we had comfort. You know, you can go anywhere. Mm -hmm. You can uh, uh, eat outside as well because you're working, have your money. But sometimes, not sometimes, a lot of times when you're traveling, you have to just forget about this. Yeah, you, know, you have to put this as a, I don't know, I, uh, not a, a, a main, yeah, uh, not a main like a, no, what's the word then? I'm forgetting my English, man. Help me out. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say. So the main thing, it's not your, your prime, it's your uh, primary. Oh yeah, primary thing. Yeah, you, you, you can be you. I For, think. Yeah. I think the most important it's getting experiences. So living different things is really, really important. For that one, I, I'm like some of these. I can say, "Oh, friends! You don't have friends? You'll make friends there." Is it, is it your comforts and luxuries are back home? I'm not gonna say, "Up, oh, you'll find them there." Uh, ignore those the, the comforts and luxuries. It's like forget about that. It's yeah, like, that's not so important. You go there. You're going on on uh, to travel. You're going to experience something different. So, for a moment, get over your big comfortable 
California king size bed in your, your comfortable <laughs> yeah, clean BMW. You know, it's like okay, leave that at home. I don't. Maybe you have these things. Maybe you don't. It doesn't matter. But yeah, the, yeah, the point course. is, it's like you go there. You're gonna ride some some public buses, right? You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're walk. Going to, you're gonna walk a lot. You're gonna walk a lot. I mean, if you want to save money, you're gonna walk a lot. You're not going. They're you're not, they're not gonna have the exact same cafe and place where you go to lunch every single day. You always go to. This place for, for lunch and, and this place simple, for dinner or something. Like yeah, a simple lunch and stuff. You don't have your personal car where you got your personal space. I'm, I'm from LA. We all have, we all have cars. We all drive in cars. So that's yeah. our thing. We drive to work. Drive. So a lot of people are saying, "Ah, no, I'm not taking the bus. I'm not taking the metro. Oh, yeah, I got to take my car. I don't want to share. Now. You know." So, but it's get over those things. Get yeah. over the, those are luxuries and stuff. It's okay to have those at home. But I mean, if you're gonna travel, it's like, you gotta use it aside. To, right? Just put them aside. You, you know, go. Uh, and one of the things I always say, I always recommend people to go travel, go be in hostels. It's like, okay, you might be sharing your room. If you're not ready to do that, get a private room in a hostel. At least share common, the, the common, common areas, space, yeah, the, common yeah, areas, the kitchen yeah. or something like that, the hangout Cook rooms. together with people as Cook well. Cook together with people, really nice. meet people, and share And eat together things. as well. It is the most natural thing ever and everybody eats. And everybody, everybody likes to eat, man. It's like, oh, I'm eating good food. It's really nice, man. So let's cook. Easy way to make friends as well, too. And save money. Of course. Go to the local market, grab a couple of vegetables, whatever. It, it, I can't cook very well, but I can make a, a pasta and some vegetables. Oh, yeah. Take that to the hostel, you know, buy, spend $10 or something. You can make enough for, for five, six, seven people or something like that. Go to hostel, you see a couple of the people in the kitchen. And can speak with people pasta, as well. Share with people, yeah, more than likely them. those people are, hey, let me contribute something. Maybe somebody yeah. else will buy the beers or something like that, whatever. Whatever it is, is conversation starter. You can eat cheap, you can it's eat so healthy. Easy, and and <laughs> I filmed experiences like that. I was like, okay, I spend five, 10 bucks on pasta and this and that. Next person, somebody else cooks. And the next day, something is a, I ended up spending less than I would at home or one meal out or something totally. like that. It's like, but even not only that, you made friends, you know? Yeah. It's like, it's, 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 it's the most important thing. I mean, money is the same everywhere. Uh -huh. It's the same shit everywhere. Money, that's it. Change colors, that's it. You know? <laughs> and, 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 colors, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, sizes. And, yeah, size and whatever. But experiences, it's unique, you know? The experience that I'm having here right now, talking here, recording this video with Dave, it's unique. I mean, I can't live Colombia, I can go back to Brazil to another place and we said, yeah, I mean, I remember I went there. I uh, had this uh, conversation with Dave about traveling and uh, talking to people about that. I mean, money can't do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, money is money. Money is the same shit. I mean, right. I had it in January and I had it in December. It's the same money. Oh, yeah. You know, whatever you, that you, you spend on the like like more share with people. Constant, it's like, man, I met, I met these friends that I have for, <laughs> for life. You know, you keep in touch with them on Facebook for years after. You go visit them in another country and they visit you. It's like, it's like you never go, oh, man, I shouldn't spend that $10, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess. The experiences you'll, you'll, you'll get and they will last forever. It's the money. You came, if you, it came and goes. You know, you, you spent it or you didn't spend it. But it's 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 just money. It's money. It's yeah, hard. Yeah. It's hard for us to think about that until later when you go. It was just money. And it was just twenty bucks or when something. When you start like that, to you travel, know? you start to notice uh -huh. those things. Like uh, man, uh, when you're traveling, you want to get experiences. Uh -huh. You know, at least when you're traveling by traveling by yourself, you have a lot of a lot of time to think by yourself. You know, the one thing that that changed like everything in my life was like was like leaving my city. Yeah. Leaving my friends, leaving my family, everybody. Mm -hmm. Just traveling by myself. Even a girlfriend. Just traveling by myself. You know, I had the opportunity, the opportunity to take conclusion by myself. You know, like just see something and dude, I came to a conclusion about that. Like mm -hmm. just thinking about things. Yeah. You know, not just starting to think and then you have someone from your roots telling you what to think. Mm -hmm. And you know, like influenced by your own thoughts. Right. So you like a like it's harder to change, you know. Right. When you're by yourself, like you can create, you can, you know, it's it's, it's really nice. It's really, it's or it's different. a different environment, you know, different people. They kind of give you different perspectives on stuff, you know. So you kind of you reanalyze things and you answer your own questions that you really didn't know that you kind of dwelled on for a long time. Is for, for <laughs> maybe like what you're saying, but for me, a lot of things that you think about and think about, and you have kind of, you know, realize it, but you kind of have like a one one track direction of, yeah. of, of, of thought or kind of a way of thinking a process of doing things whatever and it's not until you get out and traveling and it doesn't even have to be like spending much money to do this and that you know sometimes you're just in a foreign country going for a walk not even spending any money or something and then you're just like man why did i do this for so long or why did i yeah, ever because you're doing experience what are you experiencing right now yeah you were you, yeah. not living this i never somewhere. even thought that yeah. Yeah. those kind of things yeah. So that's why it's so difficult when uh, when backpackers go back to their country. When I go back to Brazil, 
Dave, as well, I asked you the, like uh, some of the hanging outs that we did. Like, uh -huh. like uh, when you go back, what do they, your friends ask you? Because when I go back, they just ask like, like little questions. They say, how was it? All right. And when you try to explain some stuff, they won't get it. They will say, like, no, no, I don't see myself doing this, man. I don't see myself. We're just recording this video here because I know there are so many people who want to go to Brazil, another place. Anywhere. Yeah. But they say, oh, I, I really want to go to Brazil. All the time, man. People will send messages to me on WhatsApp. And I say, why are, you, why are you not there yet? Oh, because I don't have money. Uh -huh. they, don't, they don't go volunteering. They don't go like uh, to friends' houses. They don't, It's so easy. We, we could jump for to the job offer we, we have here. Oh, oh, the eight one. I'm afraid of not getting a job. Uh -huh. Let, let's start this one because the comfort zone, you guys have to abandon this in order to gain another thing. Get over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just forget, man. Uh -huh. I mean, the comfort zone you can have anytime. You know, you can spend like five years traveling, not have comfort, you know, like exaggerate. I'm not saying about, you know, like sleeping under the bridge or yeah, something like yeah. this. Not It's just not having a kingside bed. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's like luxury. One of the big things is that people are going to have a hard time. Get used to sharing a room with somebody. Try at least once, twice, a couple times if you can. It's like, yeah. Go spend a night in a dorm room in a hostel. It's like, that's a hostel. I would like to go on a whole other topic, talk about hostels and stuff like that. Yeah. So the best thing you can do if you don't do anything, if you don't, go spend a night or two in a hostel. Just see what it is. And I think so many of these other things will make sense. With an open like, mind. With an open mind. Right. Just go don't there. Ex don't expect to be the same thing as, as being at your place. It's not a hotel. Be there. Yeah. It's, it's not like, oh, I'm gonna be here and nobody's gonna make a noise. Oh, I'm gonna be here and nobody's gonna do nothing. Like, mm. everybody will treat me like, oh, no. Because you're sharing a room with a lot of people. Think of it like a dorm room in a university or something yeah, like that. Just, but it, there are that's other you, travelers, there are other open-minded people. And for the most part, mm. they're... they're They're um, respectful. People yeah, almost yeah. everyone's most respectful because yeah. they're doing the same thing. Hey, I got my backpack here. I got yeah. this. Like, don't touch my stuff. I don't touch yours. That's it. So it'd be like that. And, and most of the time, it is like that. Yeah. You know, like just a few times you have some problems. Like people are too noisy. But one of, of the advantage of that is that you you start to be more patient. Uh huh. You know, you you, you can just. I'm not gonna worry about that. Things that it would be like really pissed. You know, when back in your home, like, mm -hmm. what is this shit? When you're like traveling, like, oh man, no problem. You know, like, uh, just, just, just complain, don't complain. Mm -hmm. I have a positive, positive attitude. Yeah. And you will get there. It's, it's easy like this. Talking about the getting a job, because people say like, uh, I can't yeah. start to travel. I saved like, I don't know, 2,000 bucks, 5,000 bucks, but I'm running out of money and I, I don't know how to get a job. I don't know how it works. So they have a lot of uh, options on, on On websites, right? Like yeah, yeah. work away, like what? Help packs, help packs, world packers. We're gonna put this on the description of the of the YouTube video and mm -hmm. on the blog as well, with more, more, more information. Yeah, because it's, uh, this is a huge topic. I mean, we're like almost almost 40 minutes right now, mm -hmm. and uh, we're, we're just going so fast on each topic, you know, because yeah. so so many experiences that we have traveling. And I say that I travel I travel just during a year, nothing more backpacking uh -huh. and I've been living in Colombia for more than three years so it's been a while since I'm not in Brazil living in Brazil so you have a different perspective and if I want if I want to put all of the experiences things that I uh, changed it's a huge video man because you have to be it had to be like a, I don't know 10 episodes yeah talking about traveling we could do that we could <laughs> yeah like a, a multi-part series <laughs> <laughs> but so, that one uh, yeah one of the things that, there's right? a bunch Brazil. of different websites yeah I did a bunch of those So, one of the things that is like, first of all, remember, give up your comforts for, for, oh, for yeah, one thing. For real, yeah. Um, maybe you're, you're a software engineer at home, maybe you're a professor, maybe this, whatever. Put those aside for a moment. Know that you're in another country, you're not oh, yeah. going to find these jobs. Yeah, because you know, some but people you don't want to do the same. Well. Yeah, don't, I'm not going to go to Brazil different. to clean stuff. I'm not going to go there to serve people on the tables. I'm not going to... I'm not going to wait in a restaurant. I'm not going to yeah. wash dishes. You're I'm losing not gonna, so much. I'm not going to fold linens or whatever. Yeah. So, so. Get over those comforts, you know, it's like, it's, they're fun, they're exciting, they're different jobs, and it's part of your experience, part of your vacation, but part, of, part of your travel. Um, but you'll find, you'll find jobs. So there's those websites that are good, I recommend them. Uh, even did, better did, if you've got a couple months beforehand, if you know right. you're going and you start sending messages. You start sending messages. So you can arrive more prepared. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but even most of the jobs that I found along the way and that a lot of other people that just show up, 
to show up just places. Just go there. Actually, sometimes it's even easier, you know, because when you're there, you're there. You can start right away. You know, so you just say, hey, I'm here. I want to volunteer here. I don't know, like some hostel. So you can just offer. I always say, if you are willing to help people, you will never be hungry. Yeah. You know, I'm willing to help. What can I do for you? Yeah. But if you're like someone who doesn't want to help, man, I mean, it's, it's complicated. Yeah. You know? Like, if you don't want to help somebody, <laughs> this video is not for you anyway. Yeah, it is not for you because we are like uh, we like to help and stuff. <laughs> is that for you? This couple? No, I got my right here. <laughs> <laughs> Just a guest appearance. <laughs> So that's the thing. So uh, we have uh, the getting the job. You can use those websites to get some jobs, including you can go to Brazil, not having a job and just making an offer. Just, just go with a big smile on your face. You know, this is so important, man. Go to hostels. The majority of hostels that you're going to stay at, even though they don't publicize jobs on the oh, yeah. internet, they're, gonna also, they're always looking for somebody. And it's, and it's going to be simple things too. I mean, they say, yeah, yeah, we need somebody who, you know, four or five, six days a week or something like that can help us behind the bar and it's like you don't need to be a bartender or something like that they're just going to be like stay at a behind the bar for a couple oh, hours so somebody wants a beer, language just, as beer. As well. teaching language because some also they language. have like so, lessons mm -hmm. as well so you can go to the place and you can teach i don't know if you know portuguese if you know Spanish, english you can go to brazil and you can teach portuguese to the to the foreigners very common the, yeah and it's a rewarding thing too you know it's like you're you're, you're helping people, people have a good experience you're sharing your language you don't you don't need to be a teacher, any of that kind of stuff. No, you, you just, you, you be a, a professional teacher is just a detail. Uh -huh. The most important is wanting to help. Yeah. That's it. Nowadays, nobody give a shit about your, your diploma and everything. Oh, I'm this, I'm that. But who are you as a person? Yeah. You know? If you, dude, how many times I, I met some people like they're really like a lot of degrees and stuff and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but the way they think is like so, you know, like, dude, I'm, I'm so, I'm, I'm also words like, shame on you, man. I mean, you think it like this, mm -hmm. you know, it's, 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 it's so bad. And meanwhile, you meet people, meanwhile, you meet people who doesn't have a lot of degrees mm -hmm. and they're so like positive, you know, they help people, they, they want to do the best they can, mm -hmm. you know. And the, the thing that I mentioned about uh, the guy who paid my drive, my, uh, my ride, the taxi, you know, the yeah. taxi it is not about the money, it's about the attitude. I mean, I would never forget that. I really, it was like four bucks. But mm -hmm. those four bucks, it, it, you know, it was worth it like the whole life, man. I was like, dude, people are so nice. So you, you, you don't judge as before because a lot of times, you know, no, 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 they're gonna rob you, they're gonna do this, they're gonna kill you. So you, I don't know, maybe because you, especially people who watch the news all mm -hmm. the time, and uh, you get like uh, influenced by that. Mm -hmm. So you think everything is it's dangerous. Someone get kidnapped or murdered uh, in some place traveling. Mm -hmm. So like, no, 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 I'm not gonna go there because a girl was raped. You know, you did, did you see that? I mean, it's so dangerous. Yeah. And one thing that I heard once that is really, really true is if it's on the news, <laughs> it's not something that that happens a lot. Exactly. Because if thing, more, it, it, it wouldn't be the news. If it's in the news, it's because it's newsworthy because it's and not a common occurrence or yeah. something like that. So it it happened all the time. Like this, it, wouldn't, yeah. it wouldn't be in the news. So if you heard something negative or bad about a place that was in the news, more than likely, you know, the people around, the people there, they're going to say, ah, oh, yeah, I saw that too in the news. Yeah. Oh, that was oh. crazy because it doesn't happen often. You when you're hitchhiking, mm -hmm. I, I told people I was like hitchhiking when I was traveling and people were like, oh my gosh, you're crazy. Yeah. I mean, you doing that is so dangerous. You're going to get robbed, you're going to get that. And it was like, never happened anything with me. Actually, I was robbed here in Colombia. Yeah. Living here after two years and something, two mm -hmm. years and a half. And I was robbed just like this. Say, say. <laughs> Just like this, uh -huh. you know? So I, I was like ex uh, exposing myself, can I say? Mm -hmm. I was exposing myself all the time, traveling, hitchhiking. I hitchhiked in Venezuela, man, uh -huh. with a motorcycle. And I was like, I, I, I take you. I was like, all right. Yeah. You know, this is crazy. But I don't know, when you start to travel, you start to feel like the goodness on people. Mm -hmm. Like uh, you can trust that you just look at people and you okay, go, it's a good person. Yeah. Seems like a good person. I don't know, you can like believe your, your, your guts, you can trust your guts. Yeah. You know, when you're like traveling like this. That's the thing. The, the, the point is that those things happen, people get robbed and that kind yeah, of stuff. But robbed. it's like, a as lot you of can times get it's... robbed in the US. And absolutely, in absolutely. I'm not going to say come everyone on, should go on. hitchhike all the time and just let your guard down and, and leave your backpack and trust everyone. No, absolutely not. But, it, but, but it, the same thing, the common sense you have at home, keep that with you on the road wherever you go, you know. And, 
your backpack could get robbed, but just as likely while you're here, somebody could break into your house at home or something of like course. that. Or one day you're at work, you know, you've been living in the same house for 10 years, and one day on a Tuesday you're at work and you come home and somebody broke into your, your car or something. And you like didn't leave like, your country. Yeah, yeah and you, you didn't, didn't, it, it was just your house. <laughs> it's like, the, 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 the point is that things happen, you know. By it's, taking risks, living here, and taking risks, uh, traveling, it's uh -huh. better to be traveling. At least if I, could, if someone robbed me, I'm gonna be robbed like with style. Uh -huh. You know, I was backpacking and I get robbed. I had a good story. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Story. It's not like I was running. I was just jogging. Like here on the block, and I got robbed. I'm like, so stupid, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, like a block from home. Yeah, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> okay, real done with the last. We're like a more than 45 minutes already. So, do you have anything, last thoughts to add to people? Uh, loads of things. <laughs> loads of things, <laughs> lots, right? Lots of we, stuff to share. We could put, uh, we could put like some uh, extra things on the blog. Uh -huh. Include, we could record some audios as well and put like an extra. I know it's a long video. Some people will watch the, the whole video because they want to learn more about uh -huh. this, the experience and stuff. And some people say, oh my gosh, this is too long. Yeah. You know, but the thing is, when, when you're talking to someone about the experiences, as long as you keep hearing a lot of experience, you will learn a lot. Uh -huh. If you if you listen to me like for five minutes, you will learn five minutes. That's it. Uh -huh. You know, five minutes of my experience. That's it. If you learn, if you hear me like a, during an hour, you can get a lot more. Right. So that it's it's for everything, man. Some people will read a book mm -hmm. and they say, "Oh my gosh, it's like four hundred pages. I'm not gonna read that." I'm gonna read this one. It's like a hundred. Okay, mm -hmm. so you learn a hundred pages. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, so if, if you dedicate yourself to some to 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 more to some something like bigger, you will learn more. Mm -hmm. So my last thoughts here. You, you finished? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I I'm hoping that everything that we say is like is is, is leave the maybe, comments. Leave leave comments if you guys have questions or something. Uh, hopefully we can ask, answer them. And if you had some fears or some doubts that maybe that we were able to. Um, help you with or soften them at, at least a little bit. I mean, like, I think your goal, maybe my goal, the same thing too, is is to just get some people to just go out, like, yeah, break down just, your boundaries, yeah, like, forget I about like some it. of your things and, and, like and just go. Like, like <laughs> I'm not trying to sell something. I'm, is it, it? Maybe I am trying to sell something. Maybe I'm trying to sell travel, get out, but I'm not, you're, you're I'm not getting anything idea. out of this except for the thing is, I'm I not trying to show off my story or something. I'm trying to say, hey, look it, I can do it. All these people behind me, they, everybody can do it. It's a, I, we, should, we want you to do it, you know, we're trying to get other people to... But you say, I'm not getting any of this. I think I can, I can get some of this. I can be really satisfied when I hear someone who, who I don't know, I watched your video and decided to travel. And my gosh, It man. makes it worth it, right? Yeah, it's like, we are making a difference. Yeah. It's about this. Uh -huh. And I have a couple of friends that they decided to travel after talking to me, after listening a lot, you know, like talking and opinion and stuff, and they, fuck, man, I'm going to go. Yeah. And I feel so good, yeah, I feel so good because you, you, you've done it, I mean, you, you, you're like improving, improving uh, people's life, Yeah. you know, because of your ideas, because you, you know some stuff that they, they don't know, you can just bring this and they can take advantage of this. And it's such a good thing when you meet someone who has an open mind. Mm -hmm. Usually the travelers, backpackers, they're really open minds, uh -huh. and they can like easy going persons and, and stuff. But the the solution I mean, if you have doubts about your life about oh i don't know what to do with my life the solution is not traveling don't 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 mix the things here because you can travel and you can if you decide not to open your mind it's, you're going to be stuck right some people they never traveled but they travel by reading you know by listening to people as well and they take decisions as if, if they were traveling you know right the thing is like it's it's here it's not about the place it's about your mind exactly that's it you know Okay, so anything wrong? Anything wrong? Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna say goodbyes. Goodbye, <laughs> guys. <laughs> thank you, thank you a lot for staying for I don't know, a little bit more than 50, a uh, little less than 50 minutes. Uh, if you want to learn more, if you want to take more, um, say, uh, read more details about this, the websites. Uh, maybe Dave can put some audio as well, like uh, com complement, complementing, complementing, compliment, no, complementing, complementing, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> the the video. And uh, you, you told me you have some uh, writing stuff about travelers, I th some thoughts and stuff. Yeah. It might be, it might be a, a good one to put some, to share with us some of those thoughts yeah. on the blog as well. Because I'm like this, I mean, I can, I can watch a video for, I don't know, it's an hour and mm -hmm. I just get like two minutes and get bored. But if I really want this, I will watch all of it. Mm -hmm. And I, I want more. Yeah. You know? I, I want to know more, I mean, give me more. So you go to the, to the blog, we're going to put this all together. You can, 
know uh, what Dave is thinking about traveling and what he learned about traveling as well, what I learned as well. Mm -hmm. And if you want to share your experience as well, you can send, you can leave a comment. Motiv motiv um, motivate, motivating, motivating, right? <laughs> motivating people, motivating people, right? Yeah. I, I, I have to practice my English. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Motivating people to do the same. As I tell you, it's, it's really worth it when you see people doing things that you know it's, it's, it's good for them. You know, you're gonna get so much of this. And when I hear this, I mean, uh, it's been like, what, a week? I was in Cali talking with a friend, mm -hmm. talking with a friend, and she told me, I said, you know what, the, the first time I went to the US, she went to the US, she, she, she made a decision. I decided this, that dinner that we had, you know, uh -huh. like, uh, you were talking about uh, your experience and uh, I just, okay, that was the push, uh -huh. a little push, I knew it, I knew that I had to, I had to do this, but a little push. Yeah. <laughs> so she did it and she came back, she went, uh, she came back here to Colombia and she, she was really glad that I told her a lot of things, you mm -hmm. know. So that's it, guys, if you have doubts, questions, you know, like uh, just leave in the, some, the comments that we will answer. Maybe Dave can answer as well. <laughs> just like, just, you know, if you want to share. I, uh, the thing is, uh, we are doing this for the cause. And the cause is helping people, you know? We want people to be helped. I know there are tons of videos talking about traveling, you know? Each story, it's different. You know, my story is different from their stories, and your story is different as well, so uh, feel free to share with us, all right? So have a good one. Uh, I don't know. Go on the website, all the website that we're gonna leave on the on the comments as well on the blog, and enjoy. You know, live the life. It's just once. Pack you know? your backpack and go. Yeah, just Let's grab do your it. backpack. Don't think that much. Just go. When you overthink, you mess. You know, Write your own story. It, it, I think it's like when you're at, uh, like uh, when you're gonna talk with a girl. If you start to overthink. You just oh I got what about if, I, if she tells me this what about if that and oh, you know what happens go, go, the go. moment's gone and it's like we were talking about earlier today it was yeah. like it's that future uh, what is it conditional or something it's like, oh, yeah. if I had talked to her maybe this, eh, you'll never know you will never know because it didn't happen you yeah. never you never talked to her you spent thirty minutes sitting mad uh, <laughs> never talked to her so it's gone you know, the, the, I don't know it's like a five second rule when you think about doing something you have five seconds to decide yeah like real quick or five seconds to do it. Yeah. I'm gonna talk with this guy. Nah. Yeah. Because if you start to think, you will just, you know, I don't know. You were thinking, you were analyzing, it, yeah, make yeah, it worse yeah. than it is. It just, it just worse. I, I did not do that. More likely, just you just don't do it, and you might, might as well stop that. thinking about it because it didn't happen, and it's there's no shoulda, coulda, woulda. It's just it's, it wasn't there. It didn't happen. So totally make it happen. Hey guys, we're gonna put some pictures as well. Well, you have some pictures of traveling, right? Probably. Oh, okay, I'm gonna put mine as well so you can take a look. <laughs> Maybe I'll, uh, some pictures you can guys you guys can see a, a little bit of us traveling, all right? Yeah, I traveled in Brazil, I traveled in, in Peru as well, and all South America, like some really nice pictures, nice people. Dude, I am dying to do it again, you know. I'm gonna do it like really soon. And I don't know if when I start doing it again, if I want to stop, if I will stop, you know, uh -huh. um, maybe if I have a kid, if I get married, I don't know. <laughs> so have fun guys, bye bye, I hope you liked it and you learned something, alright? See you guys in the next video, bye bye. Ciao. <laughs>